Hey, you guys do their intro to my video? No. Semen apple nacho. Oh, Grandma. Oh, <laughs> hey, you guys, it's Actium Secretary. He's currently in a hey, conference call. I have a monkey age. Without further ado, here is the color correction tutorial. All right, so now we actually are here inside of After Effects. You got your main composition, your clip, whatever you got, and a black solid just behind it and a new composition. Now we're going to start adding a CC, right? So what you want to do, Control, Alt, Y, make a new adjustment layer. I'm just here inside of one of my edits. We are going to start off just with Transform. What I like doing is the basics first. I usually go 100.5. What this does is it clears up the edges. So you see the edges. If there's any reflecting, if there's any motion tile on it, that just gets rid of it. You can sometimes go a bit more, but zooming in more is quality loss and you also don't want to be too zoomed in little hue saturation um depending on what your song is this song is pretty much an edm song just a classic edm random whatever you know so i'm gonna have it a bit more saturated probably about 15 or before we go on anymore i forgot to do this add some rsmb on add some rsmb real quick i usually just do 0 0.20 65 or 70 that's what i've always stuck with i just put that over the whole edit. so right here let's go back to this frame i usually just get a frame where there's multiple colors and stuff that pretty much every clip the edit has now what you want to do add some sharpen default sharpen right don't want to overboard it because then you get edges on the lines and then everything is just way too sharpened control alt y again and then what you just want to do is start adding some stuff on kind of want more of like a generic cc because it's a lot of different colors in the edit and i don't want one color to oversaturate everything else i think blue would fit this song best because blue is a great color on its own let's go into looks first off drag some stuff on just start with hue saturation form cool curves um i think that's good for there get some hsl colors that should be it unless you need something else i'm gonna put this on like negative five probably you can do whatever but that's kind of what i do so that gives it a more reddish vibe you know that's what i like add some contrast in here 0.5 is probably the max i would go i'm just going 0.35 as i said blue so we're gonna put this more to the blue side a little more of a blue tint that hardly does anything too and with hsl colors i usually just make the reds a whole brighter and the other things a bit you know more desaturated right besides like the more dominant colors in fortnite uh, that's about good for there about there <sighs> and then probably like right there i think that looks good for hsl colors we got a bit of desaturation on all of this remember this doesn't show your hue saturation or anything else from other layers this is just this layer only right and you got this so far so if we solo this layer we can capture that real quick and we can put everything back on and see what our cc already has done so we've made it brighter we've made pretty much everything pop out a bit more and we've pretty much just changed a bunch of the vibe to more of a coolish blue color i think what we're gonna do now we're gonna add some film let's get some film and right off the bat this looks very very bad pretty much with editing you just want to make mistakes fix those mistakes and then recover from those other mistakes you're making right just want to mess around with everything in your program and just find out what works best i just mess around with all of these see what looks in the first one i choose that's actually pretty good honestly and then i just mess around with all these other colors um saturation probably put that up a little bit like 115 you know put exposure uh not that much go 0.2 that's more like it contrast then vintage modern that's a big one right there right so this is more of like an indie edit this is more of just a random um so i'm gonna put that about like eight mess around with the strength i usually just put this a tad in there maybe like 30 to 50 percent done with a bunch of the cc i put some curves on and i mess around with them just make sure i have everything i wanted but that's what we pretty much have with those curves if you have a specific color you want like blue or something put that up i'm not really gonna mess with these too much so if you don't know anything about curves right so this line up here this represents the brightness right if you pull it up into the left see how the brights get brighter and you pull it down into the right the brights get darker but also it affects down here too so that's why it's doing that this is a regular contrast graph this is what pretty much everyone does to create contrast in their edits i like putting that up making the darks a bit brighter making everything a bit brighter you know all right now on the top of everything make a new adjustment layer we're gonna add some glow um we can just use default glow just use default glow put the radius up a bunch or like 777 turn this up a bit right and you got you're already seeing this glow come up um put the intensity down 0.6 i'm like that you just got a simple glow on your whole edit just colors pop out more everything like that right so we pretty much have a cc right here this is a just pretty much generic blue cc i sometimes add flicker as well to this transform cc so i just pretty much get some misfire flicker add that on eight it's not a lot but it just adds a little bit more right so you got this frame right and you've been on this frame the whole time you want to go through other parts of your edit and see what's dominating this is really glowy so we're gonna have to turn the glow down or you can just keep from the glow like that and stuff um see that frame is like really bright and then some of these aren't as bright you know before you even do a cc why well, do you want all the clips you also want to white balance your clips make an adjustment layer over your whole clip right let's go to a frame like this one right let's put levels on and what you want to do go to red put this in one in this one in this one in and this one in as well 
See, sometimes it messes up and you have to adjust it beyond like what it is. And this will pretty much just give you a ton more contrast in your edits on your like CCs and stuff. See how these differ right here? And then this is how it will be with the levels on. It'll be even more contrasted. On your transform layer, you can go through all of these and change it, the saturation of each of those. So you can make these reds way more saturated than all the other colors. Make cyan's down. If you want like a purely red, red CC, you can put both of these down and go to yellow put those down now you only got reds now if you had more of an indie edit i'll switch this up to an indie edit right now for an indie edit it's gonna be more desaturated right so we're gonna go negative 15 on this right let's go back into looks um hso that's fine um this would be more orangish right and then this would be more orange as well fine and that is also fine now we got more of an orange cc right this damage we're gonna put this about like 35 put this 45 and then let's see like what vintage does so this vintage just decontrasts a lot of stuff so about like that probably see that film just gets a ton of the brightness out of this guy and i don't know if i like that but let's turn this back down to like 30 make that a bit brighter and that's pretty much how you change it to an indie cc right with my cc's i really don't do anything like out of the ordinary or like i just try to fit the song as much as possible like with corinne this indie edit it's so orange it's just vibrant with orange and more of an old type edit because that's what the song is it's more of an indie song you know like this is more of like a purplish bluish cc i don't really do a lot of insane cc's right but i just try and keep it simple and clean that matches the song of your edit but to make bluish glow i usually just do ecc film glow right this up that up right and then just mess around with the threshold make it more bluish right there's a tad bit blue Put that back down as you can see you got a more bluish glow right you can mess around with this make it red make it any color you want it's more of a red glow too now a little trick i learned you can literally just make a solid right control y you can put gradient ramp on it and you can just make these whatever you want if we want like a purple and blue cc you can literally do that so as you're gonna see you got a little solid right here we're gonna put this one like over here this one like down here so when you change where their points are right you can come over here to the blend mode you can go down to color and this will make the colors on your whole cc right so you see this right now if we take the glow off now you got a purple and blue cc i would probably put it down to like 50 right all right hopefully you guys learned something from this so these are both my cc's on the screen right now one is pretty much brighter the other is pretty much like old-fashioned kind of indie you know hopefully you guys learned something from this a little inside of how i make my color corrections so hope you guys have a good day it's been axiom Peace out.